In this video, we're going to focus on Rutherford's gold foil experiment. Now, in this experiment, he wanted to test the plum pudding model to see if it was accurate, if it was a good representation of the atom. And in order to carry out this test, he needed a source of alpha particles. And so he used a radioactive element, such as radium, which naturally decays and emits alpha particles. So he enclosed it in a container with a tiny opening, and thus he got a beam of alpha particles coming out through it. Now, an alpha particle is the same as a helium nucleus. It's basically a helium particle with a 2 plus charge. It consists of two protons and two neutrons. So that's an alpha particle. Now, what he did with these alpha particles is that he beamed it on a gold foil. Now, this gold foil was surrounded by a detector, which looks something like this. My drawing's not perfect, but you get the picture. Now, the, this particular detector was coated with a fluorescent substance, so when the alpha particles were to hit it, it would flash. Now what he realized is that many of the alpha particles went straight through the gold foil. However, some of them bounced back, while others were deflected at large angles. And so he came up with some very important conclusions based on what he saw. And he realized that the plum pudding model couldn't be correct. Now let's talk about some of those conclusions. Imagine if this circle represents an individual atom. The fact that most of the alpha particles went straight through the gold foil, what conclusion do you think Ernest Rutherford came up with? Since most particles went through the atom, or the atoms of the gold foil, he concluded that the atom must be mostly empty space. Now there was something else that he came up with. The fact that some of the alpha particles bounce back, he realized that there must be a very dense center, which we know to be the nucleus. The second thing that he realized is that some of the alpha particles, they were deflected at large angles. Now remember, the alpha particle consists of two protons, two neutrons. So the alpha particle has a plus two charge. Now we know that opposite charges attract. If you have a proton next to, let's say an electron, these two, they, they're gonna feel a force of attraction. But like charges, they repel each other. So if you have, let's say, two protons next to each other, they will feel a force of repulsion. And so they're going to move apart. Now, the fact that some of these alpha particles were deflected away from the nucleus indicated that they must have the same charge as the alpha particle. So he concluded that at the center, you have a region of dense positive charge. And so these conclusions were pretty much accurate for the atom. The atom is mostly empty space, and we do have a nucleus that contains positive charge. Now, this experiment doesn't identify the presence of neutrons, but it does tell us that the nucleus is positively charged due to the protons that are in it. And so those are the things that Ernest Rutherford came up with through this experiment. So to review, he discovered that the atom is mostly empty space due to the fact that many of the alpha particles went straight through the gold foil experiment. But the fact that many of them were deflected at large angles showed that there had to be a very dense center with positive charge known as the nucleus today. So that's a summary of Rutherford's gold foil experiment. So that's basically it for this video. And for those of you who like it, feel free to subscribe to this channel for more educational content.
So thanks again for watching.